Hey guys, today is day two of me finding out that I'm pregnant and I'm going to tell my friend and cousin Kim and Shai that I am expecting. I know it's a little early but we have a few things going on and I think it's better that they just know. I trust that they will keep it a secret from my family until we decide to tell them. So I am going to tell them by giving them an envelope. We are going um, grocery shopping today like running errands and what I'm doing is I'm going to wrap the pregnant test in some um, oh, tissue paper and I'm gonna put it in the envelope that way they can't feel it and there's a little bit more like cushion in there because I don't want to give it away and I will record it I think I'm just gonna lead by saying I'm starting vlogging again and I want to vlog our hangout today and then when I give it to them I'll also record that and capture their reaction so I can't wait to tell them the exciting news I'm at Target with Shy and Kim, and we are getting Pansy's birthday gift and baby shower stuff. Hi guys! Hi. We're getting boba! Hey guys, we're at Shy's. We just got dinner and finished all of our errands. We stopped by Zupa's. Let me show you guys what I got. Hi, Mosey. Do you want to be in my vlog too? Here's my food. I got a tomato basil soup and chicken pesto sandwich. This is literally the best. They always give you a complimentary strawberry, uh, chocolate covered strawberry, and a little uh, bun. Wait, so before we eat, I got you guys something. What? Oh my god! Oh my god! That's why you're recording. Oh my god! Wait, what's today's date? It's today. Oh my god! 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 Remember when you're like, it's taking so long. Job. Hey guys, it's Alicia, pregnant Alicia, which is so weird to say. Today is October 26th, it's a Monday, and just wanted to talk through some of my symptoms with you. I just painted my nails, and the smell of this nail polish is making me feel so like nauseous. I have been getting like major cramps, like period cramps is what they feel like. So these cramps have been kind of coming in and out. They're quite painful. They're not as bad as like these super severe cramps I get when I'm actually on my period, um, but they come and go um, in waves. And then in addition to that, like I said, I feel like I'm pretty sensitive to smells. Um, other than that, I feel like I've had quite a few cravings already. It's only been a few days and it's weird. I'm starting to notice these different symptoms in my body that I thought wouldn't happen until later on um, but it's pretty real you know pregnancy and first trimester you really are um, experiencing all the things that people talk about and again I don't know if it's just like me overthinking and over analyzing everything but I've had some pretty major mood swings my husband has had the um, short end of that so sorry Ming <laughs> and um, I've had some cravings already I love pickles with pepper right now and it doesn't make my tummy feel good I ate a bunch yesterday and I was not feeling good after that so I'm going to take a little break until I indulge in that again but I'm trying to eat healthier I spent a lot of time yesterday just doing some research on healthy meals that I could eat during pregnancy and I need to set up my first prenatal appointment so I'm going to call today and see if I can set that up for a time that would fit for my husband and I'm really keeping my fingers crossed and hoping that he will be able to join me in the office room because I think that would be really special so stay tuned for that. It's lunchtime now, so I'm going to make myself a very hearty salad. I've also been just doing some prenatal workouts. I know that there are varying opinions about whether or not you should work out when you're pregnant. 
and my mom obviously doesn't know right now. The only people that know are Ming, Kim, and Shai, and reason for that is because I feel like I really just need that mental support in this first trimester, so that's why I told Kim and Shai, and I want to reveal it to my family in a special way on Christmas Day, so I'm going to wait to say anything, but if my mom knew I was working out, I think she would be scolding me, so I'm just trying to do very light workouts, things to keep my body moving. Yeah, with that, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for just following along on this journey. It's so crazy. I can't believe it's finally happening. Hello guys, good morning, happy Sunday. Today is November 1st and just wanted to check in. Um, our friends from Arkansas are in town so we hung out at our friend's place yesterday till midnight and oh man, it was so much fun but I was very, very tired. I think my friends actually ended up staying there till like three or four in the morning. So I'm really glad we decided to leave when we did because I just was feeling like uncomfortable and I just needed to like be in bed. I'm glad we left when we did because I think I needed the rest. Um, my hubby had a really great time and was not feeling well so <laughs> we decided to come home. Um, we slept, I woke up and I was feeling hungry but again still not having an appetite. This is like one of the most annoying things. Like I love food. If you guys know me, I love eating food. I love being able to crave foods, but I don't have any cravings right now. Right now, again, I just don't have an appetite for anything. And when I'm making the food, I feel like I'm not hungry, but once I eat it, I actually enjoy it. It's been a really interesting experience dealing with not having an appetite because this is not who I am. It's usually not difficult for me to be hungry. I don't know what's going on, what baby is doing, or what the heck my body is going through, but I just, I don't have an appetite and this has gone on since mid last week. So I'm trying to just keep track of all of the little symptoms that I'm experiencing because we have our first appointment this coming Friday and I want to be able to talk to our doctor about it. So yeah, I ate a peanut butter, banana, and blueberry sandwich and that was really yummy and I also ate some apples. Oh, one thing that I also experienced yesterday that I usually don't deal with is constipation. I know this is very TMI, but when I need to go to the bathroom, I usually just go. Like I can tell from my body when I need to go and usually it's just like instant. Yeah, it's very weird. I usually don't have constipation. I think I read somewhere that this is a symptom. But anyways, um, thanks for sticking around. I know that was a really long check-in, but just wanted to just let you guys know what I'm feeling as I go through the emotions. Today is November 2nd and I I'm feeling quite energized, not as tired as I was last week, but it was still really difficult for me to get out of bed. I am noticing that my skin is also getting like a little bit more clear and just brighter. I don't know if it's just like the pregnancy glow that people are talking about, but I am not mad about it. Of course, I still have some breakouts down here, but other than that, I am like really happy with how my skin is looking. Today, I have a little bit more of an appetite, so that is exciting to report back on. And I'm going to start taking progress photos of my belly. Just so you know, like I've never really had a flat belly. I love food, so I always have some sort of like food baby. And if there's like an event that's coming up or a photo shoot then I work out really really hard to get like a flat tummy so right now it just looks like I have a food baby so yeah I'm going to start doing that I think I'll do that Friday I'll like put on makeup and take my progress photo because right now like I'm basing my pregnancy off of just like my last period and I don't know how accurate it is so I want to go in and from there I'll, I'll start taking weekly photos of my progress just because I want to have that for myself so yeah, I'm trying to think about like what do I want in the photo, how do I want it to be, the consistency factor and whatnot, but I'm very excited. This is such an exciting chapter of our lives and Ming is just so excited. I've never, like he's never looked at me the way he looks at me now that I'm pregnant and it's, it's like the sweetest thing ever. So I really, just really enjoy that and want to cherish it all. I'm still having vivid dreams. 
every night, I'm telling you, vivid dreams. And that's why I refuse to watch scary movies during this time is because if I watch it, I am definitely going to dream about it and it feels very real. So I'm very cautious and protecting myself during this time just so I'm not having any sort of scares because Ming leaves really early in the morning and it's just me at home. So I want to be safe and happy. Today is November 5th and i finally felt a little normal today honestly i've been feeling sick the past couple of days and today was actually nice like i actually had cravings and enjoyed my food and didn't feel nauseous so i am so happy about that it was so weird to feel normal again and i'm not taking it for granted because feeling sick sucks so a little update i was watching a few like pregnancy blogs carly bible to be exact and i'm I'm so happy for her that she's pregnant she's amazing and she told her family around six weeks of being pregnant that she was expecting and I was just like man I kind of want to tell my family too because technically I haven't gone to my first appointment yet I was supposed to go tomorrow but it got pushed out to next week because when I booked it online it was only a 20 minute appointment and the nurse had called me and realized that I actually need a 40 minute appointment so it's going to be next week instead which is totally fine but Ming and I are thinking about telling our families during Thanksgiving instead which actually makes me feel a little bit better because by Christmas I might be showing a little more and it'll be harder to conceal from the family because we're just around them so much. So yeah, I'm trying to think of ways to surprise them. I'm I'm so excited. I don't really know because I still kind of want to get them gifts, but I don't know if it'll be weird to give them a gift during Thanksgiving. I don't know if we just verbally tell them. I don't know. It's just, it's like a big deal for my side of the family because we don't have any grandkids yet in our immediate family. So I know that everyone will be very excited. And I'm not saying it's not special for my husband's side of the family, but we already have four amazing nieces and nephews from my brother and sister-in-law. My in-laws are already grandparents. So I think they'll just be excited for the addition. Just a lot of things positive things today that I just wanted to come in and document because I'm finally feeling better and the weather is so beautiful in Minnesota right now. That's it. I'm going to go to sleep now. Bye. Is there any questions that you have for me at this point? Um, let me see. Oh, I was going to get started on this list of questions and then my appointment got moved, so I did not come prepared. <laughs> oh, no worries. And you know what? I mean, just kind of think like in terms of COVID, mm -hmm. um, right now we we do allow you to have one visitor, with, however we're not encouraging a visitor for okay. this like first puppy exam, but you could do that on, like you could do like video or FaceTime and bring that person with you if you wanted to, on, or you could even change this visit if you wanted to for yourself to a video visit. Okay, so you guys, um, a nurse just called me from the clinic. There was a little bit of a mix-up. I think I told you guys about this yesterday, but my appointment was supposed to be today, my first appointment, and I booked it online. And I guess when you book online, they really don't give you the duration of an appointment, and it should be 40 minutes for your first OB appointment, and it was only 20. So yesterday, someone called from Health Partners and asked me to reschedule for next week, which I was like really bummed about because I was so looking forward to hearing the heartbeat and just being able to ask these initial questions but it worked out because the nurse just called me and that just gave me so much peace of mind to be able to talk to a healthcare professional about some of the questions I've been having and them giving me you know like phone numbers and and just information on this pregnancy and it just makes it feel that much more real like I as you heard I'm just so excited and oh man it, it's so crazy according to my last period i am six weeks and four days pregnant which is so insane i'm thinking about doing my makeup and taking a photo either today or tomorrow just so i can start tracking the weeks of pregnancy and showing my progress throughout this entire time so yeah i'm excited that i am able to bring ming to the appointments that was something that i was really really worried about when COVID first hit, I wasn't sure if 
that would be allowed but just wanted to pop in here and let you guys know I had my first official phone call with the nurse and it went really well I have now all of this amazing information that I'm going to write down a lot prettier in another notebook hey guys happy Friday today is November 13th and Ming and I are going to our first prenatal appointment we're running a little late it says we're supposed to get there at 2.42 and our appointment is at 2.40. I had to work and get a bunch of things done, so it's just one of those days, unfortunately. I called my insurance provider earlier and asked a bunch of questions just so I can go to the appointment with as much info as I can. Yeah, I am seven weeks. I'm not really showing yet, so you can't tell, but I'm just excited to finally have this appointment. I think it just makes it more real. Hey guys, so we just got done with the appointment. It went really well. The OBGYN that we saw, she was so sweet, but we learned that she is retiring, so we will not be seeing her next time. Oh, it makes me so sad because she literally made the appointment so fun and exciting. She answered all of our questions, and that was great. I also got some blood work done. I'm not the biggest fan of needles. That was not fun, but it, I, it is what it is, and um, I got my flu shot. I was wondering if I could get it during pregnancy, and they said it's totally fine and it's required or uh, recommended, so I got my shot. I guess I'll share a little bit more with you guys later, but just wanted to let you know everything went well. We scheduled my next appointment, which is when we will have our first ultrasound, and that will be in December. Hey guys, I am going to put up the Christmas tree. I'm super excited because I bought all of these amazing decorations over here from At Home and Michael's and it's gonna be great because we will be filming the reveal at my house. Please don't mind the smearing and my nose. I literally just got done cutting onions for my bulgogi and my eyes were just so watery. I am going to decorate and hopefully film a reels with my light and phone and you guys can tag along so enjoy! up you guys long time no talk it's one of those days where this is the only thing that is saving me right now I spoke too soon and said I was feeling great and a hundred percent and now I'm not I don't know what it is I don't know if it's something I ate I will say yesterday I indulged in like half a can of Pringles it just tasted so good and I definitely paid for it after I was telling Ming that I don't even know what normal feels like anymore because I don't know I just feel weird my insides feel weird I have a headache my stomach seems upset we went shopping Thanksgiving shopping because I wanted to buy a turkey and get it ready it's really crazy in Minnesota right now because the governor just put out some new rules it's scary. It's super scary um, because I'm obviously pregnant and I don't know the effects of COVID on a pregnant woman and it's just, ugh, it's, it's super touchy. I'm just trying to be as safe as possible. So yeah, just wanted to quickly come on and check in. This is like life right now. I don't want to do anything. I don't feel bad about not posting anything. I just want to enjoy this time with my baby and my tummy, Ming, and just getting the most sleep and and yeah see I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore but I do know that I feel a lot better after drinking Canada Dry so 
I'm gonna continue to do that and um, maybe watch some Korean dramas. Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving. We are over at my parents today. I know it's like a crazy time with COVID, but everyone is safe and feeling well, so we decided to get together. The only person who isn't here is my older sister. We wish you were here. Ming and I got over here around like 9.30. We made some fagao and Ming is in the process of making mashed potatoes right now. It's been a while since we've like spent time with family, so this was much needed. Let me show you what we uh, made, and we're gonna start plating very soon here once Amelia and Tony arrive. Um, I think what we'll do first is eat, and then Dad will do a quick Debo, and then we'll play a game. So that will be fun, and then we'll just like hang out and stuff. Ming and I will stop by our in-laws later. Well, my in-laws, Ming's parents' place, because it's not too far from here. We'll just bring some food over and hang out with them a little bit, and then head home. So yeah, that is our Thanksgiving day and our Thanksgiving plans. But yeah, let me show you the amazing food. So my mom made fried rice, which looks so bomb. And then we also have kaikaji, which is sweet pork. And this is like so amazing. I haven't had it in forever. Ming is making mashed potatoes. It's almost done. We just have to do some mashing. Hi, mom. Hi. And here are the pukkaos. Let me open it for you. Oh my gosh. A whole tray. If you know and have made the it takes forever and it's so good. We have two peppers here. We have a green pepper with um, green onions. This is my dad's signature. Then we just have like a red chili paste pepper. So that is that. Um, what else? <gasps> the turkey. Let me show you the turkey. It's in the oven and we still have to cut it. But there it is. My mom put lots of love and tender care into this turkey. I cannot wait to eat it. I just can't wait to eat all of this yummy food. It's gonna go in my belly. And yeah, today's gonna be a good day. A good day. Okay, you guys, here is the Thanksgiving spread. I think there's shoot, there's one more that I left out, Mom. Yeah, you can guess this one. We are thankful because God blesses us with the baby mom coming. <laughs> Hey guys, it's the end of the night, Thanksgiving night, and today was amazing. We told our family that we were expecting, and oh my gosh, I was not expecting to get emotional, but of course I did. So as you saw in the video, um, the reveal video, it just came to a surprise to everyone, and um, it was better than I could have imagined. And we're just all excited. So today was an amazing day. I feel like a weight lifted off my shoulders and I'm glad that I can finally talk to my family about my pregnancy. So what we did today was we went over to my mom and dad's around nine, prepped, ate at 1 p.m. 
and then we hung out until around hmm, I think 5 30 and then we got to my in-laws we just wanted to stop by to bring some food and just hang out with them and um, also let them know that we were expecting and we ended up staying there till 10 which was great we just talked the entire time um, and we had some really really great conversations that I just so greatly appreciate. In the midst of this crazy time with COVID, I am just so grateful for my family. I just thank God for this amazing journey and blessing me with people who are also excited. It just makes it that much more exciting. Oh, sorry, I'm so out of breath and I'm really tired. As you can tell, I'm like literally in my nightgown. Oops, I'm in my nightgown and my hair is up don't even mind me i was planning to do an update when i came home still had makeup on but i was just so tired i'm like i need to shower now or else i'm gonna knock out i just took my prenatals i don't know what it is but like it's been really hard to swallow these pills and they're huge i'm taking the um nature made prenatal pills my mom and my sisters were like how did you keep it in so long like, how did you not tell us? I'm like, it was so difficult. You have no idea. Oh, by the way, this is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Um, It's like not my favorite, but I bought it and I just keep it by my bedside. I don't know, it's so funny. I'm saying it's not my favorite, but as I'm putting it on, it feels so nice. I just feel like it works like every once in a while when you don't use it, but when you start using it too much, it really doesn't do much. Just wanted to let you guys know how how happy and excited we are. Ming is also very, very excited. My in-laws started crying when we told them. I was very emotional too. We're just excited, you guys. We're excited. I can't stop saying we're excited. I just can't wait for baby. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to bed. I hope you guys had an amazing Thanksgiving. I know I did. I'm so very blessed and I am so fortunate and I don't take that for granted at all. So um, I just hope that you guys had an amazing holiday with your family and friends if you were able to, actually your family um, or friends, I suppose, depending on who you're with. And um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.